these images have in common? Yes, they all contain famous Australian cricketers, but the answer I'm looking for is forces. There are heaps of types of forces, but we're going to focus on push, pull and twist forces. Now, a force isn't something an object contains or has in it. A force is exerted on an object by another object, causing it to change its speed, direction or shape. Of course, that happens a lot in cricket, so time to meet some of the best cricketers in the country to find out more. First stop, the MCG. Meet star Aussie fast bowler James Pattinson. His goal is to bowl as fast and straight as possible using a push force. That's a nick again, he's out! James Pattinson is on fire here at Blunston Arena. The first thing I do before I bowl is measure my run-up. My run-up's 20 metres and the reason why mine is pretty long is because I need a lot of momentum going into the crease. Bowling is about momentum and, ha and having as much force possible going through the crease for me to bowl at my, my highest speed every ball. For me, I like holding the ball down the seam here with a nice and soft grip. My dad always used to tell me to get my arm nice and high so as I go past, I touch my ear as it goes past. And with your arm pointing, your front arm pointing at the target and that going above here and touching your ear, then you should have no trouble in bowling the ball towards the batsman at good pace. The other main style of bowling is spin bowling. So time to meet star spinner Nathan Lyon at the SCG. Fast bowlers compared to a spinner are a lot faster. Uh, I tend to bowl between about 80 to 90 kilometres an hour where James Paris and Mitchell Johnson and those guys, they bowl between 140 to 150. Spin bowling is about putting a twist force on the ball. So when it bounces, it's hard for the batter to guess where it will go. My grip is usually you spread, spread your fingers quite far apart and you're trying to spin up the back of the ball. So you get the ball going down on the axis like that. So you've got a bit of force going around this way so it actually hits a pitch and turns that way. I usually have about seven steps back from the stumps. There's no point running in, you can walk in and have that explosion at the crease where you have a force going up and spinning up the back of the ball. It's pretty important to keep your shoulders nice and tight onto your target. It's usually with a straight arm and uh, it's about putting some uh, force and some magic with your hands. Spin bowlers like using an older ball and a rough pitch because there's more friction, meaning when the ball strikes the pitch, it grips more, maximising spin. We go and play in India, for instance, a lot of the wickets start drier um, and don't have anywhere near as much grass as Australia, so generally they spin a lot more. So that's why you see a lot more spin bowling in India than in South Africa or Australia. Former Australian captain Michael Clarke is one of the best batsmen of all time. Batting is a push force, and who better to tell us how to bat than Clarkey himself? I like to use the two Vs between thumb and finger to line up in the middle of the handle. I'm a right-handed batsman, so I would also then try and stand in this position and tap my bat just behind my right big toe. The key here is to make sure you're nice and balanced. So you want your knees a little bit bent, your body weight is evenly poised on both feet. You're on the balls of your feet because you're trying to either move forward to the ball or back to the ball. The key to, to power hitting, to hitting the ball further, your bat will come up because you want a full swing. Weight transfer either, again, onto your front foot, but generally starts on your back foot, so you can wind up. A lot of power in, in through your legs to force yourself forward, your whole body weight going in the direction that you're trying to hit the ball, and then you're swinging your bat all the way through the line of the delivery. Yeah. Now the cover drive. Super batting for Michael Clark. So we've seen push and twist forces in batting and bowling, but you might also notice a pull force when the fielders pull the ball back inside the boundary to stop the other team from getting a big score. That could be outstanding! Amazing, we've seen a few of these. When the fielders throw the ball using a push force, they use a mix of underarm, overarm and sidearm throws depends uh, how far away from the stumps or the wicket keeper you are. So if I'm really close, I'll use an underarm throw, which is quick and easy. Uh, but wh when I want to throw the ball a long way and get power, generate power, then I'll throw overarm uh, to, to get that extra power and distance. Well, next time you're playing or watching cricket, think about all the pushes, pulls and twists. And may the force be with you.